The Empire State Building in New York City stands at 1,454 feet tall. The Eiffel Tower, 1,083 feet tall. Dubai's Burj Khalifa is the tallest building in the world at 2,717 feet tall. There's no shortage of skyscrapers out in the world, but these aren't the only massive structures out there. There are many other types that pierce the sky, and today I'm going to take a look at 15 of the tallest structures in the world. Let's begin. Number 15. The Bald Pate Platform Kicking off our list is the absolutely enormous Bald Pate Offshore Compliant Tower Oil Platform. Setting up shop near the coast of Louisiana, the Bald Pate stands at 1,902 feet tall, and it's owned and operated by the Hess Corporation. This giant structure has a bit of history behind it, as it was the first freestanding compliant tower to be built in the Lena platform, which was a guide compliant tower. But beyond all that, this offshore rig is the second tallest structure built in the water after the Petronius platform. It was specifically designed and built by J. Ray McDermott Engineering in Texas to be more flexible than traditional fixed truss towers like the Bullwinkle oil platform. And this particular design allows for the bald pate oil platform to move up to 10 feet laterally during severe storms. The compliant tower section jacket was fabricated by Acker Gulf Marine and weighs a total of 28,900 tons, which is far below the builder's original estimate of 50,000. Something this big needed to be built in multiple sections, all of which were fabricated and assembled together when all parts reached their final destination. The lower 350 feet of the base account for nearly a third of the structure's weight, as it has a wider base of 140 square feet, which reduced to about 90 square feet as you make your way to the top. Then there are the legs themselves, which each have a 12-foot diameter at their widest and a steel thickness of 3.5 inches. It is a pretty amazing rig, and a combined height of the jacket and truss tower section of the bald pate measure up to 1,671 feet, most of which is completely submerged. Number 14. Merdeka PNB-118 Alright, it's got a strange name, but Malaysia's Merdeka PNB-118 is on track to be one of the greatest and tallest skyscrapers in human history. It's still under construction, but it should stand over 2,100 feet tall when all is said and done, which will immediately make it the second tallest building in the world. Now, it's pretty safe to say that we've entered a new era of super tall skyscrapers, all of which are in a race to be taller than the previous one. It is a pretty wild ride, and the Merdeka will undoubtedly come out on top. This name Merdeka it translates to independence, and this skyscraper will sit right in the nation's capital of Kuala Lumpur. The completion of Merdeka is going to be the perfect way for the city and the nation to ring in the new year. And when that finally happens, it's going to break a new record, too, for being the tallest building not only in Malaysia, but all of Southeast Asia, just barely surpassing the Shanghai Tower and the Petronas Twin Towers. At the end of the day, it's going to be Merdeka's 522-foot tall spire that will help the building claim that victory. Are the spires cheating? Well, maybe a little bit. But is it worth it? Yeah, definitely. Number 13. Makkah Royal Clock Tower Arabic for Towers of the House, the Abraj al Bait complex is made up of seven skyscraper hotels, all of which are owned by the Saudi Arabian government. These hotels are built to house the millions of pilgrims who come to Mecca each year. But the cherry on top of this series of structures is easily the Makkah Royal Clock Tower. It is now the third tallest building in the world. This clock tower is nearly 2,000 feet tall and also sports the world's biggest clock face, which takes up four stories of the building. The entire complex is 16 million square feet, and the construction cost about $15 billion. That includes not only the Maka Royal Clock Tower, but the five-story tall shopping mall, prayer rooms big enough for thousands of worshippers at a time, and all of the other luxury amenities you'd expect from something this lavish. Oh, and don't forget about the five-star VIP-only hotel that takes up the top five floors of the tower. And while that gold spire adorning the top of the tower shines brightly during the afternoon sun, things get really exciting at night when both the tower and the clock face itself lights up the night sky for all to see. Sounds like a pretty good time there. Number 12. Bullwinkle Platform Bullwinkle it may be the name of a certain moose from our childhood, but it's also the name of one of the largest oil platforms in the world. The tallest fixed steel structure in the world, Bullwinkle, is an oil platform installed in the Gulf of Mexico in 1988. And when you see something this big, you can't help but scratch your head and ask, how the hell did it get there? Especially since it's in the middle of the ocean. 
At the end of the 1980s, Bullwinkle was the third tallest freestanding structure in the world, standing 1,736 feet tall with 1,352 feet of it below the waterline. The oil platform's jacket is what sits mostly submerged, and before it made its way to the Gulf, it took three years to build in Texas by Gulf Marine Fabricators, and it cost about half a billion dollars. But the hard part really began after the completion of Bullwinkle's jacket, when the contractors took on the job of transporting the 49,000-ton, 1,400-foot-tall structure from the construction yard over land, and then water using a barge. The entire process took five days. Bullwinkle is the second tallest object ever to be moved from one location to another. And after all that work, it will be decommissioned by the end of its economic life, meaning it will likely have to be moved again. Number 11. KVLY TV Mast All right, the next entry on this list has plenty of superlatives behind it. Standing at 2,063 feet tall, the KVLY TV mast is the tallest structure in the Western Hemisphere and the fourth tallest structure in the world today. Perhaps it comes with a technicality, though, because it's supported by guy wires. It's not a self-supporting structure, which is why you'll rarely ever see it on a list proclaiming the world's tallest buildings or towers, which is kind of unfortunate, because many people have not heard of this mast. So, despite being so tall, this mast tends to fly under the radar of many. It does, however, have an interesting history for something so obscure. Upon its completion in 1963, this sky-high radio mast was the tallest structure in the world until it was surpassed by the Warsaw radio mast about a decade later. But the Warsaw mast collapsed unexpectedly in 1991, allowing the KVLY TV mast to reclaim its title until the 2722-foot tall skyscraper, the Burj Khalifa in Dubai, was completed in 2010. The structure itself takes up about 160 acres of land with its guy anchorings holding it down. Owned by Gray Television of Atlanta, Georgia, the tower broadcasts at 356 kilowatts on Channel 44 for television station KVLY, based in Fargo, North Dakota, and provides a broadcast area of about 9,700 square miles. And the TV mast is in good company, too. The KRDK TV mast stands just five miles away, and at 2,060 feet tall, it's the fifth tallest structure in the world. That mast, completed in 1966, has collapsed and been rebuilt twice, once in 1968 when a marine helicopter crashed into it, killing all four on board, and once in 1997 during an ice storm with 70-mile-an-hour winds. Number 10. King Da Ka Buckle up, because this next entry is going to be a bumpy one. In 2005, Six Flags Great Adventure in Jackson, New Jersey opened not only the fastest roller coaster, but one of the tallest structures in the world. The second strata coaster to ever be built, King Da Ka takes riders to terrifying heights of over 400 feet in the air, 456 to be exact, but it moves so fast that if you're afraid of heights, you probably won't even have time to notice how high up you are until you start to come back down at over 120 miles an hour. Needless to say, King Da Ka is not for the faint of heart. When it opened in 2005, the roller coaster became an overnight sensation, with both the general public and roller coaster enthusiasts alike. But because it employed such state-of-the-art technology for the time, it needed its own dedicated maintenance team for this ride. When riders first strap in, a recording imparts the following instructions. Arms down, head back, hold on, before taking off from the station five seconds later. It may not sound like much, but those are the longest five seconds of your life before the car is shot out of the gate, reaching a top speed of 128 miles an hour in three seconds. The track is over 3,000 feet long, with twists, turns, climbs, and drops that allow for some spine-chilling maneuvers and plenty of weightless moments. Of course, with a roller coaster this crazy, there have been a small handful of incidents over the years, with one of the more eyebrow-raising mishaps happening in 2012, when a young boy was sent to the hospital after suffering minor injuries from being struck by a bird during normal operation. Time to fly. Number 9. Ping An Finance Center one of the more recent entries on this list, the Ping An Finance Center opened its doors in 2017 in Shenzhen in China. Standing at 1,966 feet tall, the Ping An Finance Center has gone on to become the tallest building in Shenzhen, the second tallest in China and the fourth tallest in the world, just six feet behind the unfinished Abraj Kudai. But it does, however, hold the record for the world's highest observation deck at over 1,800 feet up. Just don't look down. 
But what's really cool about this building is the entire height is based on habitable space without wasting a single inch. And unlike so many other skyscrapers we've seen today, this one doesn't really rely on a spire to add to its length either. But that wasn't always the case. The original plan was to add a spire to make the center the second tallest in the world. But the spire would pose too great a hazard to the planes flying above the bustling city of Shenzhen. Number 8. Ushiku Daibutsu Located in Japan's Ibaraki Prefecture, the Ushiku Daibutsu is the fourth tallest statue in the world at 394 feet up. The statue was completed in 1993, and it's made of entirely of bronze, depicting the Amitabha Buddha, which represents infinite light and life. It's an incredibly common Buddha, but it also represents something incredibly beautiful. It also pays tribute to the birth of Shinran, who founded what's known as the True Pure Land School of Buddhism, the Jodo Shinsu. And while the Ushiku Daibutsu looks great from afar and up close, you can take a walk inside and make your way up to the observation deck. When you first walk inside, you're greeted by a dark lobby filled with music and a bright shaft of light as the centerpiece. The second floor is called the World of Thankfulness and Gratitude, which has a bigger emphasis on the Buddhist scriptures. Make your way up to the third floor for the World of the Lotus Sanctuary, where you'll find 3,000 amazing golden Buddhist statues. And then the fourth and final level gives you views from the bosom of the statue overlooking the garden and animal park. Each floor of this huge statue gives you new opportunities to stop and reflect not only on Buddhist teachings and values, but on your own life as well. Number 7. Petronius Platform Expecto Petronius Well, the Petronius Platform compliant plied tower design has been called one of the tallest freestanding structures in the world. It's surpassed only by the Burj Khalifa skyscraper. It stands at 2,001 feet above the seabed, though only 246 feet of that is actually above water. Think of this rig kind of like an iceberg. But sheer size aside, the Petronius is an incredibly interesting offshore platform because the tower is exceptionally flexible so it can sway with the forces of the ocean rather than withstand them. It has a mooring system based on 12 piles, three at each corner leg, which extends 450 feet through the mud line into the seabed. The Petronius has a multi-deck topside measuring 210 feet by 140 feet across and about 60 feet high. It also includes a 4,000-ton north module and a slightly lighter south module, and the entire structure weighs an enormous 43,000 tons. Petronius's top side support a full drilling rig spread of 17 wells, including 10 producing wells and 7 water injection wells, and the tower can accommodate 21 well slots. It's also got the capacity to handle 60,000 barrels a day. Number 6. Shanghai Tower Standing at over 2,000 feet tall across 128 floors is the Shanghai Tower in China. Just behind the Burj Khalifa in Dubai and the Sky Tree Tower in Tokyo, the Shanghai Tower is the third tallest building in the world and was built as part of a series of three modern high-rises to symbolize progress and prosperity in the city. But it's also safe to say that this twisted tower was also built to show off to the rest of the world what the future of China might look like. This skyscraper has a unique look, and it's held together by nine cylindrical buildings stacked on top of one another and surrounded by an outer shell, which works as the core. But each of the nine sections is equally as impressive on the inside as they're home to beautiful atriums, indoor gardens, restaurants, and shopping areas, and give easily the best views of the city from every angle possible. The Shanghai Tower has so much to offer that it almost functions like its own city. The only thing it needs is its own zip code starting on the 100th floor. And while this fun-shaped skyscraper is a benchmark of modern Chinese history, the project was drafted by an American architectural agency and cost $2.5 billion to build over six years, and it brings in almost 3 million tourists a year. Number 5. Milau Viaduct Thanks to a technicality, Milau Viaduct is the world's tallest bridge a claim based on the height of the towers, which are taller than the Eiffel Tower. So at its highest point, the bridge reaches 1,104 feet. The height of the bridge deck itself is only the 17th tallest in the world, yet driving over it still feels like you're literally in the clouds. This cable stay bridge is on the E11, a popular motorway route between Calais and the French and Spanish Mediterranean coasts. It's 890 feet from the road deck to the valley below, and the views are fantastic when it's not shrouded in the clouds, which is quite often, and even then, how many opportunities do you get to drive through the clouds? 
The architects of this bridge have created something straight from a fairy tale, like some snake way made real. It truly is an architectural marvel. How could anyone even build such a thing? Well, in fact, many of the engineering aspects of the bridge were already worked out before the architects were given the brief to make the bridge look so good. The dream was always there. All they needed was permission. Building this bridge was really a team effort, and the list of famous engineering companies involved can go on for hours. As one might expect, the construction of the Malau Viaduct broke several records, claiming some not-so-exciting titles like the Mega Structure Bridge constructed several hundred meters above the ground without any loss of life throughout the three-year construction period. But it did become, again, the highest bridge tower in the world, and with a road bridge deck at 890 feet above the ground, it's pretty impressive. Number 4. Big Carl when you're building some of the world's tallest structures, you're gonna need some of the world's largest pieces of heavy machinery to get the job done. And that's when you call in Big Carl. The Sarin's SGC250, to be exact, is the biggest crane in the world. It's more commonly known as Big Carl. This giant crane made waves when it first hit the scene in 2018. Manufactured by the Belgian heavy lift company Sarns, this monster is 828 feet tall, or 250 meters, as the name would suggest. And to put those kinds of numbers into perspective, Big Carl is only about 200 feet shorter than the Eiffel Tower. It's also a ring crane, making it stand out even more, and can lift about 5,000 tons at a time. What could possibly weigh 5,000 tons? Well, how about 50 blue whales? Or how about beams for skyscrapers and parts for nuclear power plants? Obviously, this thing is enormous, which is why it takes 12 cat engines grouped into six pairs to wheel it around, and the 128 wheels that move along the four-mile track. This is another crane that needs to be disassembled when the job's over, and it takes a total of 280 trucks to get all those parts to the next site and then another month and a half to put it back together again. Number 3. Warsaw Radio Mast Before the construction of the Dubai's Burj Khalifa, the tallest building in the world, the Warsaw Radio Mast held the title for the tallest structure anywhere when it was built in 1974. The radio mast in Konstantinov, Poland, was finished with an unrivaled height of 2,120 feet in 1974, and until 1991 it served as a transmitter for Warsaw Radio Television. Its signal could be picked up across Europe, into Africa, and even across the Atlantic and North America. Yet already a decade in, it was showing structural damage from wind oscillations, and it had a sad setback in aesthetics, especially in 1988 when there wasn't enough paint to cover its monolithic worn steel lattice. It's really the little things that make all the difference, and if you've never heard of this super tall structure, well, that's because it doesn't exist anymore. At least not like it did in its glory days. If you visit the mast today, you'll only find a mound of rubble and rusted, twisted steel, all thanks to human error. A catastrophe happened on August 8, 1991, when during a maintenance on exchanging guy wires during some high winds, the cables began snapping off the mast, causing the structure to bend in two before coming crashing down to earth. Thankfully, no one was injured, but following the fall, two members of its construction company were sent to jail. Plans to rebuild were understandably met with local protests for the area's safety. The velocity with which the debris plummeted has left some of it lodged in the ground, and its companion tower supporting basement insulator and transmitter building are still decaying where they were abandoned over two decades ago, and they will more than likely remain there forever. So what was once the tallest structure in the world is now one of the largest piles of debris. Number 2. The Statue of Unity India is the second most populated country in the world, and while there may be strength in numbers, the people of India understand their country's tumultuous history. But amidst all the pain and heartache during the age of colonialism, there's still beauty and, most importantly, unity. The Statue of Unity is the tallest in the world at 597 feet tall. It towers over the Spring Temple Buddha in China by over 170 feet, and it serves as a constant reminder of national pride. And instead of depicting a Buddha or one of Hinduism's fanatic 330 million gods and goddesses, the Statue of Unity simply depicts a human man, Sardar Patel. Sardar Patel was the Prime Minister of India and held office for just three years from 1947 to 1950, but he made quite an impact even before then. When India was under British rule, it was divided into 526 states, all with their own social rules, customs, and laws. 
The Crown made it quite difficult for any sort of dissent, but Patel was a fierce civil rights activist and not only fought vehemently for his country's independence, but helped to reunite hundreds of separate states into one beautiful India. The Statue of Unity is made of reinforced concrete and bronze, and it was built in just three years. It was unrivaled in October of 2008 on what would have been Patel's 133rd birthday. People flock from far and wide to gaze upon this marvel, which serves not only as a valuable history lesson to all, but as a statement regarding the human spirit as well. Number 1. Jinping Eye Dam China is home to some pretty large hydroelectric dams. The Zhangjai Ba Dam stands at 530 feet. The Long Tan Dam is over 650 feet tall. The Zilu Du Dam is 937 feet tall. And even the massive Three Gorges Dam is only 594 feet tall. But there's one dam in China that stands above all the others, the Jinping Ai Dam. At 1,001 feet tall, the dam lies on the border of the Yanyuan and Muli counties of the Yangshanli Autonomous Prefecture of the Sichuan Province. The Yalong River, which the dam controls, is the largest tributary of the Jinsha. This thing is pretty damn serious. Construction began in 2005 and was officially completed in 2014. The dam's power station has a 3600 megawatt capacity to produce between 16 and 18 billion kilowatts annually. Supplying the power station is a reservoir created by the 1,000-foot-tall arch dam, and much like its counterpart, it's the tallest in the world. But all of this construction has come at a serious cost. As the project commenced, approximately 7,500 people who called the region home for generations were relocated. Then in 2012, two years before the dam even opened, it began to have a negative impact on the natural environment as well. The rapid impounding of the reservoir that year has caused a great deal of reservoir-induced seismic activity. So this structure has had a pretty tumultuous life. I'll see you next time. Watch our binge-watching playlist if you'd like to watch all of our most popular top 15 videos. Grab a drink, grab a snack, and get ready to binge.